Hello everyone and welcome to the Steps Engineers Week 2021. So this week is brought to you by Engineers Ireland and they are sponsored by the people below. And I am speaking to you on behalf of the Tolmont Young Engineers Society who represent Limerick, Clare and Tipperary. We have an interest in engineering and we're a group of young people so up to the age of 35 and we like to promote engineering in our area and we think it would be really interesting to talk to you about our experiences and maybe about what engineering is because I know loads of you have questions about what is engineering, is engineering. If you want to see more information uh, linked to engineering, you can look at our Instagram page. So it's at yes underscore Toman region. So we'd like to encourage everyone to think like an engineer during this video. So if you see something that pops up, think about how engineering could affect your own life. So if you see pictures of something that you might see in your bedroom, like a lamp or your bed, you might think about how engineers have influenced these beds and these lamps and how they make them work better. So engineering is all around us. Engineering is ideas, it's finding problems and giving good solutions to the people who have these problems. So what you can see in front of us here is some examples of engineering in the everyday world. You can see here on the left we have windmills, you can see we have wastewater plants, we have water plants, we have boats, houses, apartments, lights and electricity. You even have clothes, for example, or trees. Why do you plant trees there? What's the importance of that? All of this is engineering. Planning is engineering. So engineering is solving problems, making a difference in people's lives, working in a team, being innovative, planning, designing, and using numbers. So I invite you all now to take a minute to look around your classroom or your bedrooms or wherever you are, maybe you're in the kitchen and try to identify items that you think were created by engineers. How many of these objects changed or improved over time? Hi, I'm Rachel Purcell and I'm a second year biomedical engineering student at the University of Limerick. As a student engineer, every day is a little bit different. We learn to be innovative and to problem solve, but really to think a little bit outside the box. We get to do lots of different projects. Some projects I'm working on at the minute include designing a medical device and also creating a new sustainable product. Teamwork is really important when it comes to being an engineer. We work as part of teams in order to get the best out of a group project. Different people in a team help us to see things differently as we're all from such diverse backgrounds. This is definitely one of my favourite parts of college as it rarely feels like work when you're working on an interesting project with a group of your friends. A typical day as an engineering student consists of getting out of bed and going to an online lecture. We might have an online lab or two during the day or a few group meetings, but despite being fully online, it's been really interactive this semester. I chose biomedical engineering because I wanted to learn how I could help people who suffer from different diseases or illnesses. In school, I was interested in art and physics, so landing at biomedical engineering might have been a bit of a weird choice, but I love it now. Any subjects that I didn't have at leaving cert level, such as biology, I was actually taught in college too. Other than college, some of my hobbies include cooking, baking or doing art. Thanks for listening. Hi, my name is Gregory and I'm a civil engineer and I work with Clandillon Civil Consultants. So what we do with Clandillon is we look at highways. So the highways we look at, for example, is Dunkelton Interchange in Cork, which is one of the big projects we have at the moment. This is a really interesting project. At the moment, there's an awful lot of congestion due to the large amounts of traffic near Cork City going through this location. The Jack Lynch Tunnel, which some of you might be familiar with there, has large tailbacks um, at rush hour and especially on Friday evenings, so you can wait an hour, an hour and a half to get through. So hopefully the purpose of this project here is to uh, relieve some of the traffic and make sure it's uh, free flowing. So what does highway design entail? So we look at stuff like the pavement, what kind of tarmac are we going to use, um, what depth is the pavement going to be, how much is that going to cost? And then we look at like what shape the road will take. So you can see that there's some slopes and there's some um, long radius curves. So depending on the speed of the road, you need to have certain curves or different levels of steepness, etc. To make sure you can brake in time, make sure you can steer safely around the bends and there's very little crashes. Something else we look at then is drainage. So you have your road, how do you get the water off? So you can slope your road from left to right, or from right to left, or you create a camera on the road. So depending on the location, we do different designs. And once it gets to the side of the road, we have ditches or drains or surface water channels to bring the water then underground and then it's piped to appropriate locations. 
something else to look at is structures. So you have your big structures like bridges, which everyone gets excited about. But there's also some other complex structures, such as your big signs on motorways, um, big signs hanging off bridges, for example, and also some other buried structures. So maybe there might be foundations uh, under some pipes or other things, such as manholes, which are also very important. As you can see, I'm at home here at the moment, so I'm working from home at the moment, which is great. So I get to wear my hoodie. So that just kind of shows that engineering isn't really stiff. You don't have to wear a shirt and tie all the time. It depends where you work, but you know, it's a bit more casual these days. Um, the important thing with engineering is you're working as a team. So it's all about teamwork, communication, and working together to solve problems and get the project done. Um, when I'm not working then, I like to play sport. So I really like hurling and football and mountain biking. And then when it's raining outside, I like to play video games inside. So that's me, that's my hobbies, and that's what I do for work. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Stephen Dorn and I'm 20 years old. I'm currently a second year in Ockley Engineering student at the University of Limerick. So a lot of people ask, well what is aeronautical engineering? Aeronautical engineering is quite similar to mechanical engineering, except there's more of an emphasis on aircraft, spacecraft and airflow. I've had an interest in aviation and space pretty much all my life, and as a child I loved to play with Lego and Meccano, and to sketch things. So if you look over here, this is a project we did at the very start of first year, and it's an egg drop project, where the goal is to not let an egg break when you drop it off a high building. And you mightn't think much engineering and thought goes into this, but you'd be surprised to find out how much engineering actually goes into this. And this is an example of a project you could do yourself at home. I encourage you, if you like making things, maybe give it a try or give other small projects a try and you might just really enjoy it and realise that this is something I'd like to do, I like to design and make things. And if you like to design and make things, then you'd like to be an engineer. My name is Rebecca Gleeson, I did my bachelor's degree in biomedical engineering and I'm currently doing my master's in mechanical engineering at the University of Limerick. I've done a lot of academic projects that have been really fun and I'm really proud of. Um, but at the moment, I am doing my uh, final year research thesis on concussions. Um, so in case you don't know, concussions are defined as mild traumatic brain injuries that happen when a blunt force is applied to the head or the head is rapidly accelerated and decelerated. This can cause temporary losses of typical neurological functions. Um, and they can happen when someone gets hit in the head when they're getting tackled in rugby or if someone's in a car accident or, or anything like that. Um, understanding the biomechanical response and the forces responsible for inducing a concussion is really crucial to developing diagnostic tools and treatment plans for patients. And to do this, we need to have a more complete understanding of the injury and repair mechanisms of the brain after concussions occur, which is where my research comes in. Uh, because some of the internal biomechanical responses of the brain can't be measured easily, computer modelling techniques have been adapted as a more cost-effective and humane alternative to experimental methods. In estimating the internal biomechanical responses of the human head. Thank God, I don't think I'd have any friends left if I tried to get them to be my guinea pigs for this. Uh, the main focus of my study is to model the brain using a software that you'll probably get exposed to if you choose to do engineering or a course like it in college. With the software I can simulate forces acting on the brain at all different speeds and angles and in different locations and see how it could affect the brain without the need to actually induce a concussion in anybody. The research that I'm doing can be adapted later on by other researchers for further study or by medical professionals to better treat their patients and help them recover and get home to their families a lot quicker. Um, in my free time, I of course don't just do research. Uh, before COVID, it was my passion to travel all around the world. I wanted to go to every country, um, but at the moment I'm content with FaceTiming with my friends, going for long walks, doing a bit of yoga, and I actually uh, got back into reading, which is very good. Hi everyone, my name is Paul Brown and I'm a civil instruction engineer from Tipperary. So I graduated from the University of Limerick in August 2020 with a Bachelor of Engineering degree in Civil Engineering. Uh, I chose to study Civil Engineering because I've always had an interest in the built environment around us. I also like problem solving and working with numbers. Uh, I've studied in different areas of Civil Engineering including structures, transport, geotechnics and project management. I'd encourage you to consider a career in civil engineering because you get to work with fantastic people and you learn new skills that can be used beyond your career that will help you develop as a person. So thanks for listening and I hope you'll consider a career in engineering. Hi everyone, my name's Daniel and I'm a civil engineer. I graduated in 2016 in civil engineering from the University of Limerick. 
I'm currently working as a civil engineer for Maliki Walsh and Partners, who are an engineering and environmental consultant in their Limerick office. So what type of work do I do? Well, I'm a design consultant, so I'd be mainly working on design editings, si sizing up the structure or skeleton to make sure that the building stays up, and also the infrastructure to make sure that stormwater and wastewater can come away from the site and that water supply for drinking water can get to the site. So the type of projects that I work on, they vary in scale as well as types and they're done for both the public and the private sector. So they could be wind farms, electrical grid routes, the commercial and industrial sites, as well as housing estates, substations and even unusual projects such as astroturf pitches. So what inspired me to become a civil engineer and why do I like it? Primarily my farming background inspired me to become a civil engineer because of the problem solving nature that's posed by living on a farm. It also explains why I like being a civil engineer because civil engineering offers a mix of both office and site work because being from a farming background I wouldn't like to be stuck inside all day. My best subjects at school were physics, applied maths and technical drawings which probably explained why I was gearing myself towards engineering from a young age. But also listening to talks from other engineers during engineers weeks and talking to engineers before I picked my subjects for the Leaving Cert and the CEO farms inspired me to become an engineer. And another reason why I like in engineering is the ability to travel around the country to see places you, you wouldn't see otherwise. So I hope this helps you to become an engineer. So I'm going to look around my kitchen and one example I see is the microwave. The microwave is a good example. So the microwave allows people to quickly heat or reheat food at home. So instead of having to heat up an entire oven, you can pop your food in the microwave, set the timer to one minute or two minutes or as needed. And next thing you have is a big warm dinner. So, what kind of engineers are there? So there's loads of different kind of engineering disciplines. You see in front of you, you see some buildings, you see civil engineers, design and structure engineers make sure they work. So there's different engineering disciplines. For example, here on the left, you have civil engineers and structural engineers. You have electrical, for example, do the lighting. You have utilities, mechanical, electrical. They look at the, how the ventilation works how you get air around the buildings, how you keep them warm, how you keep them cool. Here on the left we have biosystems, agriculture and food. So how do we create more food so there's more people on the earth than there's ever been? How do we feed everyone fairly? Chemical engineers look at products and make sure they're safe for humans to use. On the left you have mechanical engineers and also if I can add aeronautical engineers which work on Formula 1 cars and race cars. You have electronic engineers which work on computers and software such as Dell or Intel. You have electrical engineers, again, which may work on renewables. You also have a mix of structural and civil engineers working on these projects. And you have computer and software engineers, which work on phones, computers, and laptops, to make sure all the internal software works well on all your devices. You have aeronautical engineers, again, which work on planes, or Formula 1 cars, or spaceships. And there's quite a broad range of discipline for aeronautical engineers. And you have building services, which, again, um, work on heat, ventilation, and make sure everything within the building works well. You have manufacturing and industrial engineers, which work in factories to make sure the factories run well, make sure uh, assembly lines are efficient, make sure you have the right machines in the right place, and if there's not the right machine to create or develop a machine to solve a problem. You have aerospace engineers, which focus on working in space. You have aerospace engineers, which look at maybe new materials or work in space. So new materials such as nylon, which is a composite material, which is light and strong. So just to summarize those points, you have civil, biomedical, biosystems and agriculture, chemical, mechanical, electronic, electrical, computer and software, building services, manufacturing, industrial and aerospace. So what do I need to be an engineer? The relevant subjects that you see in school are maths, so you have higher level or ordinary level, you have physics, you have art, chemistry, biology, applied maths, and DCG. So you might look there and say, art, why is art important? 
So a big part of engineering, as you can see here on the right, is clear communication, teamwork, problem solving, being independent, identify problems, creative thinking, being ready to learn, thinking outside the box, using your initiative and to be able to use your numbers. So why would you pick engineering as opposed to some other subjects if you're good at maths or you're good at problem solving or good at all of these different skills? Well, engineering, it's a passport to move around the world. If you're an engineer, you can work in any country at any time once the skills are needed there. So civil engineers, they could work in Dublin, for example, they could work in Limerick. Also, Australia or New Zealand or Canada, just for example. There's also loads of projects in Dubai or in Brazil. That's just one example that comes to my head. Aerospace engineers can work in America, they can work in Shannon, they can work in Germany, they can work in Russia. So engineering is a global, a global career. So you can work anywhere in the world. And engineering is for everyone. There's so many types of engineering that you're guaranteed to have one type of engineering which might suit you. So you have different skills to all your friends. That's okay. There's different engineers to suit different people, to suit different problems. So this presentation is brought to you by the Young Engineer Society in Tomlin Region. We are students and graduates who are under 35 years of age who promote engineering in the Tomlin Region. The Tomlin Region it consists of Limerick, Clare and Tipperary. We have an Instagram page and on this Instagram page we have more information about engineering which might be useful to help you pursue this really interesting and rewarding career. Thank you very much for your time and we hope to see you with your engineering hat on again soon.